The Emmet wrap with abbreviation command lets you wrap selected text with the HTML from an Emmet abbreviation. Say that I wanted to turn this text here into a div. I'm just going to select it and then in the command palette run Emmet wrap with abbreviation. Now it's prompting me for an Emmet abbreviation. And as I start typing, you'll notice that it's filling in and previewing what that abbreviation will expand to. And it's wrapping the selected text, as you can see. So I'm going to just create a div and give it a name of foo here, so a class name of foo. I just press Enter. And now it's updated the HTML for my Emmet abbreviation. You can also select entire blocks of HTML. So I'm just going to select this block here and then say wrap with abbreviation. And now I can enter a more complex abbreviation if I wanted to. So let's say paragraph element, uh, in, then an unordered list, and then a list element. And I can go back and add classes or other things along here as well. Um, and I've created a more complex nested structure here. But you can see that it's wrapped the entire HTML block that I originally selected in that abbreviation. When I hit Enter, it'll go and accept that. Now, wrap with abbreviation even works with multi-cursor. So I'm just going to go here. I'm going to duplicate this line and then create two cursors here and two selections. So now I have multiple cursors going on. And if I run wrap with abbreviation, as you would expect, when I enter the abbreviation, it works for both of those. So um, it is live previewing both of these abbreviations here. So that is the Emmet wrap with abbreviation command. It makes it easy to rewrite and expand your HTML.